Now, you kind of knew this was coming. Dan Schneider suing the producers of Quiet on the Set. He says that the docuseries defamed him and portrayed him as a child sexual abuser uh, yeah. while at Nickelodeon. He said it ruined his reputation in a lawsuit document that, of course, TMZ was able to see. Uh, the producer says that the doc falsely implies he sexually abused the child actors as well and calls the whole thing a hit job. If you remember, he helped Nickelodeon create all these shows. The Amanda Show, Drake and Josh, Zoe 101, iCarly, Victorious Dan. Pretty unbelievable. Um, he says he is apologizing for his behavior, but he is not a sexual predator. This is going to get ugly. So he's got the FU money to get the lawyers and do the dance. So now he's trying to come after the network, I'm sure. It's unbelievable. Yeah. A little update for you on the Harvey Weinstein news. Harvey will face a new trial for sexual assault. Yes. As we said before, the, uh, the conviction had been overturned, remember, by a judge last month. Uh, the New York Court of Appeals claimed that the judge in charge of the trial, quote, erroneously admitted testimony of uncharged, alleged prior sexual acts and others than the complaints or complainants of the underlying crimes. But we do have good news. Prosecutors told a judge in the first hearing since the conviction was overturned, quote, we believe in this case and we will be retrying this case. It was a strong case in 2020 and it remains a strong case in 2024. That's good news. You have any non-creep sleaze? Yeah, let's talk about Tyra Banks. Well. Mm. Uh, what? That's negotiable. Well, she turned 50 in December, had yeah. a big party, but guess what she tried to do? She said she wanted to do something that she had never done before, so she tried alcohol. She apparently had never had a drink before. Well, after watching Dancing with the Stars, that shocks me. Yeah, she said, we took a seaplane, had a meal in the middle of nowhere. I even had an alcoholic drink for the first time. It wasn't worth it. I was like, this is nasty. Well, so I guess she won't be drinking anymore. America gave a collective thank you when she walked and danced away from Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Man, that would talk about eroding a franchise. Paula Abdul's sexual assault lawsuit against Nigel Lithgow has been settled out of court, but her sexual assault battery lawsuit against him is moving forward with a trial accusing him what? and the show's production company of sexual assault, battery, sexual harassment, gender violence, and negligence. She's accusing him of assaulting her two times. The first time was in a hotel elevator in the early 2000s. The suit alleges, quote, Lithgow shoved her against the wall, grabbed her genitals and breast, and began shoving his tongue down her throat. Well, I'm surprised that they're both willing to put... Uh, usually those get settled. or so, You know what I mean? They don't get to this point of a trial. And will that be televised? You know, obviously, if he did this, that's horrific. The but lawsuit claims the second assault was during a meeting at his L.A. home and that he forced himself on top of her, attempted to kiss her Ooh. while proclaiming that the two would make an excellent power couple. What? Anyway, at one point he called Paula Abdul, taunted her that they should celebrate because it had been, quote, seven years and the statute of limitations had run. Man, he sounds, if that's all true, that's very arrogant. He is completely denying all of this. Holding all that power over her, that's ridiculous. The way he's acting about, oh, seven years is up. Want to go at it again? Wow, developing. I love that Cher finally spoke about this. Because, you know, Cher dates younger men. It's no, you know, no Always. secret. And the answer isn't because she can although that might be true. She was on the Jennifer Hudson show this week, gave a perfectly logical explanation. Men my age or older, well, now they're all dead, but, but <laughs> they're, before, they just never, they were always terrified to approach me. Ah. And younger men were the only ones that... They're bold. Yeah, raised by women like me. Good job, Cher. I love Cher. Cougar. She's crap. an icon. And that is your celebrity sleaze.